Hello there, it's Hillary of Creative Faith and welcome back for another video. Today I am unboxing the brand new-ish <laughs> Lessons from the Manger Christmas Devotion Kit. I'm so excited for Christmas and this new season and holidays. I just love December. I love reflecting on the birth of Jesus, our Savior, and what that means for us. And so this is a brand new kit. Um, available in my Etsy shop. I will link it in the description box below. I will also link a video with an end. I'm going to kind of skim through it in this video, but I have a video of an in-depth more look at this devotion book that I'll link down below. Um, you can, like I said, get the whole kit in my Etsy shop. You can also get the, just the book on Amazon and I'll link that below. And then there's also a printable version that has all the devotions. Um, so if you want to work through it as a printable, I'll link that book down below too. So this is Lessons from the Manger. This is my one of my very first devotions that I wrote for Creative Faith back in 2016. And so it is re-releasing this Christmas and I'm excited because has a lot of new kit elements and I do have a very limited quantity since I am re-releasing this from previous years. I wasn't quite sure how many kits to do so I didn't do very many. <laughs> so if you want one be sure to act very fast so you don't miss out because I do anticipate this will probably sell out very quickly. So I'm going to show you guys what comes in the kit. I'm really excited about some of these well, all of it, but some of these elements are just, oh, so good. Um, it comes in a canvas pouch. I have been really loving using pouches lately to hold my journaling supplies. So this is what it will come in all packed nicely. And it's kind of like a little Christmas present that you get to open for yourself. Um, let's see, maybe I'll start with what I'm most excited for and that is a watercolor half pan it is from the brand Arteza 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 and it is jungle green it is going to be perfect for look at that it's like this beautiful metallic greeny gray it'll be perfect to make Christmas trees and wreaths and I don't know, landscapes, <laughs> ornaments, so there's presents, stockings, there's lots of fun ways you could use the watercolor to do some watercolor paintings for this season. So, and um, you get one of those. I just have it, this is how it comes packaged, but I wanted to undo one so you could see how pretty the color is. All right, next I want to talk about the pen. It is a very cute ballpoint pen. It's white, um, so it'll be great to use even after Christmas ends. It has rose gold on it and this little gem at the top. And it matches the rose gold paper clip. And it has some gray suede fabric, so that'll be really great to stick out of your book to mark your place. You could also use this in your journaling Bible to do an entry based off of what you've been reading and studying. All right, next you get a washi tape tag um, with three different washi tapes. Everyone will get the buffalo plaid in white and red. And then the third washi tape will be different depending on your kit. Um, so this one, has these flowers and you get around two feet of it it's really great because once you're done using the washi tape you could use it to wrap your own washi tape you could use it as a bookmark um, so I really like including the washi tape on tags because it kind of gives you a sample of washi tape to various designs to use in your journaling all right next you get a few cards and these are uh, Christmas Carol cards and this is my hand lettering from back in 2016. I hand lettered them and scanned them in. So we have Let Every Heart Prepare Him Room and then Silent Night, Holy Night and these are on cardstock and so these will be great to use as a tip in. You could put journaling behind them, you could hole punch them and add fabric and use a ribbon and use it as a bookmark. You could use it as a Christmas card. So you get two of those. 
Um, then you get this also printed on cardstock that so has some various images that you can use to document and illustrate um, as you're working through the devotions. I love this one. Prepare him a little manger with the heart. All right. I had wanted to make stickers for you guys, but I'm trying to learn to say no and scale things back a little bit because my time and energy is just really stretched thin right now. So what I did though, is I printed them on white sticker paper. So it does peel. <laughs> there, you can see it. So you guys can cut these out and they are stickers. They're just not cut for you. And these are all phrases and things that go along with the devotion. So I really, really love how that turned out. You get a tag and two tabs and various, so these paper choices might not be yours, but um, these are great for tabbing as you're working through it. You could use this in your journaling or you could use it on a gift. You also get a glue stick. I try and include everything that you would need as you're working through the kit in the kit besides scissors. And then since there's a watercolor <laughs> included, you also need a paintbrush, which I assume most people have at home. Um, but this way you have your glue stick and you're really ready to just take this on the go with you to journal this Christmas. Okay, these have nothing to do with the devotion content, <laughs> but I saw them online and freaked out. I, if you are new around here, I love sloths. They are my very favorite animal and I studied abroad in Costa Rica and I got to see them in person in the jungle and they are just so cute and precious. And so I know a lot of you guys will send me different things that have sloths, <laughs> whether it's, you know, an Instagram post or video or things like that. So I saw these Christmas sloth sticky notes. So you get a few of them and the sloths are all different and they're all holding different Christmas things. And some of them I think are just heads with like holly or um so they're all christmas sloth sticky notes so again it doesn't really match the devotion content but they're very cute and hopefully they'll remind you you know sloths are kind of a symbol of slowing down taking it slow and that's a good reminder for us this christmas so so cute all right like i said you get a canvas pouch and then this is the devotion book um it has a really cute green and red polka dot cover and there are 12 devotions in here that connect with the story of the birth of Jesus and so it kind of goes in chronological order um, this time which is different from a previous lessons from the manger launches the devotions are just kind of jumbled and random but I wanted to order them kind of in the order of how things happened um, so there are 12 devotions and at the beginning there is a spot for you to write a prayer. There's a table of contents and you can mark off each devotion as you finish it. Um, there's an author's message. Use the hashtag lessons from the manger to share on Instagram. Um, I also include how to use this book. So it walks through how to Bible journal basically. And I love including that because these kits make really great gifts. Um, for someone who's maybe a new Christian or new to Bible journaling, it walks them through exactly what to do. And then also at the beginning, I have this overview page that has all 12 devotion titles. And then in here, you could write out like what's the main characteristic of God that you see from that story. Or you could write out your favorite verse or one key word. And then the devotions are all on the left side. And then there's two to four or five going deeper questions on the right. And then between each devotion is dot grid pages for you to continue praying and writing out verses and reflecting on the verses and themes. So that is the devotion book. So again, if you want a more in-depth look at that, be sure to check out the video, the other video that I talked about. So like I said, these are available in my Etsy shop. Oh, and if you email me your order number, I will email you the 
artwork files so you can print them for personal use. And I'm very excited for this Christmas and I just love this time of year and I just think it's going to be a really good one this year. Um, I'm also going to link down below a blog post that I have with all of my Christmas devotion books. I have, um, my most popular one is called ABCs of Christmas and that's available on Amazon. I also have Christmas prayer journals that are available on Amazon. So those are other really great Christmas resources that I have available. And I also think I have a few flip throughs of when I've worked through this before, like of all the pages and stuff. So if I can find those, I'll link those down below too. Um, I have hopes <laughs> to release another Christmas kit this year in 2021. I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> um, I'm just not sure. So I'm kind of praying and talking to God about that. <laughs> um, just because it's been kind of a crazy season, but I have goal and hope too, but, um, We'll see. So if you are wanting this, be sure to grab it soon. Uh, and yeah, I'm just really excited for lessons from the manger to see what God wants to teach you this Christmas season. Be sure to join my Creative Faith Facebook group. And um, that is a great place to share how you're working through the kits. And I do draw a winner each month. Well, each time I release a new kit. Um, I gather all the names of the people who have been posting and sharing about the previous kit and I draw a winner to get the next kit for free. So it, there's not a ton of people in that group. So it's a really great idea to check that out and join us. It's a great way to see how people are using the kit and things like that. Um, so it's a, it's a great hub of inspiration and encouragement. So thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any Creative Faith videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!